Natural Health Strategies presents Cell Phone Safety Part 1 Recommendations Cell phones are dangerous. How dangerous? We don't know yet, but they are dangerous. Professor Leif Salford says that the voluntary exposure of the brain to microwaves from handheld mobile phones is the largest human biological experiment ever. Dr. Carlo says that because we don't yet know the health risks, we must exercise caution. He fears it is unprecedented in terms of the danger that it presents, referring to the health risks of cell phone use. Dr. Carlo, an epidemiologist, was hired by the Cellular Telephone Industry Association in 1993 to lead a $28 million seven-year research program to determine if cell phones were safe. He was fired when it became clear that his research did not support the cell phone industry's claims of safety. But what if you have to use a cell phone? What if you really can't just throw your cell phone away? What can you do? Observing the following simple precautions and recommendations can reduce your exposure to dangerous electromagnetic radiation, or EMR. Recommendation number one, don't allow children to use cell phones except for emergencies. Children's skulls are thinner and their brains contain more fluid than adults. Electromagnetic radiation travels more easily through liquids. Here you see images from the research of Professor Om Gandhi at the University of Utah. These images show the penetration of electromagnetic radiation into the brains of a 5-year-old, a 10-year-old, and an adult. Let's take a closer look at enlarged images. Here we see an adult skull and brain. The black outline area is the skull. The gray area there is the brain. There you have the cell phone held up to the ear. And this colored and white area shows how far into the adult's brain the EMR penetrates. As you can see, it penetrates into about 15 to 20 percent of the brain in an adult. Now here is the same uh, image but for a 10 year old skull and brain and you can see that the EMR penetrates about 50 percent of the skull and brain of a 10 year old. And in a 5 year old skull and brain which you see here the penetration of EMR reaches about 75 percent of a 5 year old's brain. Radio frequencies travel through children's brains as we just saw in those images much more easily. Therefore, children are at a greater risk of developing cancer through exposure to EMR. If your children already have cell phones, and for whatever reason you decide not to change the status quo, don't let them sleep with their cell phones under their pillows. And you might be surprised where your kids keep their cell phones. Brain tumors now cause more deaths among children than any other form of cancer. Malignant brain tumors are the second leading cause of death in children under the age of 15 and young adults under the age of 34. Recommendation number two. Avoid using a cell phone if you are pregnant or suspect that you might be. The developing organs of the fetus or child are the most sensitive to any possible effects of electromagnetic radiation exposure. Don't use a cell phone with a baby or young child on your lap or in your arms. Ultrasound and electronic fetal monitoring also expose your unborn infant to EMR. You may want to consider avoiding these procedures unless absolutely necessary. Recommendation number three, limit the amount of time you talk on cell phones. Just a two minute call on a cell phone can alter the natural electrical activity of the brain for up to an hour. The more time you spend talking on cell phones, the greater your risk of developing brain or eye cancer. Be polite but keep it brief. You may be saving a life, quite possibly your own or that of a loved one. Recommendation number four, use a regular phone as much as possible. Regular phones are your safest bet for conversations and work. Cordless phones aren't safe either. The base of any cordless phone emits high levels of EMR even when the phone is not being used. Recommendation number five, keep the cell phone as far away from your body as possible. By moving the cell phone just 5 centimeters, approximately 2 inches, away from your head while talking on it, you reduce by 75% the electromagnetic radiation that reaches your head. You cut your EMR exposure to less than 1% by keeping the cell phone over 18 centimeters, approximately 7 inches, away from any part of your body. Recommendation number 6. 
avoid carrying your cell phone in your pocket, on your belt, or in your hand. The hip produces 80% of the body's red blood cells and is especially vulnerable to EMR damage. Close proximity may also affect fertility. Body tissue in the abdomen absorbs radiation more quickly than the head. Recommendation number seven, avoid using wired headsets. Headsets, including the earbuds that come with most cell phones today, have been shown to act as antennas, channeling the EMR directly into the ear canal. When you use regular earbuds or earpieces, you're getting three times more EMR than if you held the cell phone against your ear, and you're getting it directly into your ear canal and therefore into your brain. That's a good reason to avoid listening to music on your cell phone. Recommendation number eight, use an air tube headset with ferrite beads. This type of headset is believed to be safer because EMR can't travel up the air tube like it does on a regular wired earphone. Unlike regular headsets, the air tube headset doesn't act as an antenna. Ferrite beads suppress the EMR and dissipate it. In other words, they absorb the EMR and convert it into heat. For maximum protection, use an air tube headset with a ferrite bead placed as near as possible to the cell phone. Recommendation number nine, use the speakerphone as much as possible. Never hold the phone directly against your head. EMR decreases in direct proportion to the distance the source is from your body. Recommendation number 10. Some suggest using a Bluetooth headpiece. It's reported that Bluetooth headsets emit one one-hundredth the EMR of a normal cell phone. That's good. But whatever EMR a Bluetooth headset does emit, it does so directly into the ear. Caution is warranted. Recommendation number 11. Avoid using a cell phone while in metal enclosures. This includes the following, vehicles, elevators, airplanes, trains, subways, and any other metal enclosure. Metal enclosures act like a Faraday cage, trapping some of the radiation and reflecting it back on you and others. Turn your phone off inside all metal enclosures. Recommendation number 12. Make calls when and where you have a strong signal. Cell phones automatically increase power output when the signal is weak exposing you to greater EMR. Recommendation number 13. Avoid making calls when traveling fast. A cell phone automatically increases power when it is moving at high speeds, such as in a car, train, subway, or plane, as it attempts to connect to the next cell phone base station. Recommendation number 14. Turn your cell phone off at night. EMR emitted from cell phones can lower the quality of your sleep. All electrical appliances emit EMR, and therefore can interfere with the quality of sleep. The Safe Wireless Initiative suggests moving your electric alarm clock or clock radio, and this goes for any other electronic or electrical appliances too, at least 1.8 meters or 6 feet away from your bed. A battery-powered alarm clock can be used near the bed. If you must leave your cell phone on during the night, to be able to receive emergency calls, for example, Keep it at least 1.8 meters or 6 feet away from the bed. This might seem like a big inconvenience, but isn't it worth it if it might keep you from EMR-induced cancer? Recommendation number 15. If you purchase a cell phone, get one with a low SAR, specific absorption rate. The lower the SAR number, the better. The Motorola Razr V3X has an SAR of 0 0.14, which is the lowest we've seen. We've heard there may be others with even lower SAR ratings. The Motorola V195S has an SAR of 1.6, the worst on the market. Many cell phone manuals indicate the SAR number of that particular model. Recommendation number 16. Act now. Don't wait for health officials to acknowledge the danger of cell phone EMR. Smoking, Vioxx, and thalidomide, and the list goes on, were touted as safe for a long time with tragic consequences. It is estimated that Vioxx was responsible for as many as 50,000 deaths in the U.S. alone before it was taken off the market. Recommendation number 17. If we do our very best, we can trust God to do the rest. We can't protect ourselves from all danger, and we don't want to be fearful, as that's one more stress that's also detrimental to our emotional and physical health. But we can and should work at becoming truly informed and then act on that information to the very best of our ability. Then, when we've done what we can, we can pray and trust God to do what we can't. 
The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them.